Hi, it's One Invisible Songstress, and I do have a new song today. The song is called My Boss, and some words to explain to you in case you do not know what they mean. The word Hakadosh Baruch Hu is the Holy One, blessed is He. Tznias is modesty. Shamayim is, um, really equates to the sky, but we say the heavens. Olam Haba is the world to come. Hashem Yitbarach is the Holy One. Uh, may He be blessed. Uh, the Kotel is the Western Wall. The Borei Olam is the creator of the world. Chas Shalom is heaven forbid. Avinu Sheba Shamayim is our Father in heaven. Am Haaretz are the nations of the world. Ribono Shel Olam is the master of the world. Ratzon is will. And Hashem is uh, literally means the name, so I don't use the one above's name in vain, and I show respect. My boss, he gets very jealous and is watching my every move. That is why he is so zealous, because if I become rebellious, he wants to tell me what is the right thing to do as we have to follow the will of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, as we are His servants. When it comes to the mitzvah of Tznias for women, she must be completely covered from head to toe. A married woman needs the proper head covering with no hair showing at all, whereas all other single girls and women need not, but still must wear the proper attire. No man can ever touch a woman and vice versa. Only permission is with parents, spouse, children, and grandchildren. Even with the smallest pinky finger. Because the sin will linger in Shemayim. And you will not be able to deny it. As it, all be, as it has all been recorded. And you will see your life movie in Olam Haba. This may sound very fanatic, strict, and harsh, but I'm not the one who is in charge. It is Hashem Yitbarach. So if you have a problem and do not agree with his laws and commandments, then take it up with him. By leaving a note in the hotel, or when you see the Borei Olam in the next world. My boss, he made the laws, rules, and commandments, and we all must obey. Of course, it is our choice to do so or not, but there'll be a very heavy price to pay if you disobey. Consider for a moment the eternal reward for a mitzvah against the temporary loss of time or money it may cause and the eternal cost of a sin chas v'shalom against the temporary benefit it may bring. We have a specific quote uniform to wear as commanded by Avinu Sheba Shamayim. And this is universally the same for all the Jewish nation. Because we are meant to be separated by our attire. And behave differently than all the rest who are called Am Haaretz. In certain brachot we say, Asher Kedeshanu B'mitzvah Tavit Sivanu, meaning that you, Rebono Shalom, has sanctified us with the commandments you are Kaddish Baruch who commanded us to do. We are made holy by fill, filling the Ratzon of Hashem. And one way is by saying a blessing to thank the Borei Olam for creating, giving us everything. Each one of us acknowledge that Hashem is my boss. And there is no other. He, the Holy One, blessed is He, the Almighty. It is the One who has 
complete mastery. Sovereignty and dominion over every aspect. And the only source of all that exists in the world. And the only source of all that exists in the world. He the Holy One, blessed is He. The Almighty is the one who has complete mastery, sovereignty, and dominion over every aspect. And the only source of all that exists in this world. So here's a, suggest a suggestion of what to say in case you ever end up in a situation where a man or woman puts out their hand to shake yours and you do not want to come across as a it's a come across as a personal affront to them when you will um, not do so. Um, I don't expect you to say it all that I'm going to tell you unless you really want to. So you might want to have a pen handy to write down what I say. I would say the following to the person. Please know that it is nothing personal. I have a, quote, boss who gets very jealous that is watching me from above and recording everything I say and do. So I have to be on my best behavior and follow his commands because in the end, that's the world to come, I will be watching the movie of my life and I want to feel no shame or embarrassment and have no regrets or upsets for the choices I made in this world. Thanks for listening, One Invisible Songstress.